Hello, this is Keith with the TLA Audio Cast. This is episode one, and today's topic is Where are the herring? The 2020 Bay Area herring spawn. So I've been online and I've been listening to various audio casts on YouTube, and I really enjoy them, so I'm considering adding these audio casts to my regular or irreg- or rather irregular YouTube schedule. So um, if you have a question that you'd like me to feature on my channel, feel free to comment below. And if you enjoy the content, make sure you like that and subscribe to the channel so you know when I have new episodes coming up. So the Pacific herring is a basically a large forage fish, small and silver in diameter, that comes into the bay every once a year to spawn. You know, they're one of those fish that every large predator fish in the ocean, from whales to dolphins to salmon, to halibut love to feed on. So they come into the bay once a year, uh, roughly running from late December and running all the way to mid-February. And they spawn along the jetties and rocks of the bay. So this year, as of this date in early February, the herring have just started to spawn and migrate into the bay. Now this is something that I think is a little concerning to most herring hunters who've been following the herring run for for many, many years now. I started seeing this trend roughly starting last year and the year before when the herring were starting to come and less and less into the bay. Last year they came on January, I believe January 26th of last year, and it was one large run out at Ferry Point, and that was pretty much it. And this year they just started to come in, and there was a spawn a few days ago over by Sausalito. I wrote an article this year regarding becoming a responsible herring hunter. And this article can be found on my blog at thelosanchovy.com where you can always read it. However, to surmise the article, it basically says, William Siderman, a senior scientist with the Fairlawn Institute based out of Petaluma, has studied long-term trends in Pacific herring abundance. He notes that in San Francisco Bay, the population had always waxed and waned, but in late 2014, the population abruptly nosedived. Okay, let's look straight at the scientific numbers. In 2013-2014, the biomass was estimated at roughly around 60,000 tons. The following year, the biomass was estimated at 70,000 tons. In essence, we had a 43,000 ton drop in the population of the herring spawn. The population has remained around 19,000 since last year's number was dipping to 8,500 tons, which is the second lowest after the 28-29 biomass of 4,800 tons. Okay, so I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that year in and year out, the herring spawns number has scientifically decreased based on the surveys. So as a herring hunter, this is extremely concerning for me because if I see the herring spawning all around the bay in every place that I go, these numbers will seem kind of suspect, but from clear observation starting last year and the year before, there has definitely been a reduction in the overall number of herring in the bay. Now let me know, am I wrong in this? Leave a comment below and let me know. So starting this year, the California Fish and Game Commission adopted the California Pacific Herring Management Plan. For the recreational herring hunter, what does this mean? It means that starting in March of 2020, there will be an upper limit of two five-gallon buckets per day. My personal belief is that four buckets is a more reasonable upper limit for the herring simply because they're so hard to get to when they actually spawn and the spawn is actually very short. And this year it only happened once. So if you're actually going to get on the herring, you're going to drive out there to actually get the herring. Two buckets per day, it's pretty small and probably will not make an indent to the overall population. So I think having four buckets will actually provide a really reasonable experience for the people who actually go out and catch these herring. Okay, that's great. Now there's an upper limit to herring, and this is something that I do support, by the way, guys, because um, based on the numbers, and this is the scientific numbers, the population has clearly been going down. So regulations should be changed in order to adapt to that new reality. Now, if the herring, once again, has a big emergence of 60,000 tons, 70,000 tons, you know, 120,000 tons, then I believe the whole situation and the whole upper limit should be adjusted in accordance to those new statistical numbers. But I want to go back and answer the central question of this audio cast. 
and that is, where are the herring? The author in the article that you can read on my site, by the way, pointed out that the main reason he believes that the herring has decreased is because of global warming. Now, in California, we know that the herring spawn has been impacted, and I also read somewhere on the internet that also Alaska's herring spawn has been impacted. So I think that worries me a little bit. Now, I think we can all agree that the fish population increases and decreases in the ocean. Many of the people who have fished for a long time says, you know, that happens all the time in the fishery. And the first people to really notice that are the commercial fishermen. And so the question I have for you, Mr. Herring Hunter, is what do you think the reason for the decrease in the herring population? Let me know. Okay, so that's all I have for today. Hope you guys have a great time out in the water. Enjoy the outdoors. This is TLA, out.